Big-headed ants, belonging to the genus Fidoli, are a diverse group of ants characterized by their distinctive large heads and small bodies. They are found in various parts of the world, including the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. This species is known for its remarkable polymorphism, with major and minor worker ants exhibiting different physical characteristics and performing specialized tasks within the colony. In this comprehensive overview video, we will delve into the fascinating world of big-headed ants, exploring their taxonomy, morphology, behavior, ecology, and impact on ecosystems and human activities. So please watch the complete video. And if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's back to the video. Taxonomy and Morphology Big-headed ants are part of the genus Fidoli, which belongs to the family Formicidae. The genus Fidoli is one of the most diverse ant groups, with over 1,000 described species. Their taxonomy is based on morphological characteristics, including head size, body shape, and the presence or absence of spines. Major workers have disproportionately large heads compared to their bodies, whereas minor workers have smaller heads. The head size variation serves different functions within the colony, such as defense, resource acquisition, and brood care. Additionally, the ants have well-developed mandibles, antennae, and a distinct caste system. Behavior and Ecology Big-headed ants are eusocial insects, living in complex societies with distinct roles for each member. The colony is typically composed of a queen, reproductive males, major workers, minor workers, and brood, eggs, larvae, pupae. The major workers, with their large heads and strong jaws, play a crucial role in defense and foraging, while minor workers engage in tasks such as brood care and nest maintenance. These ants exhibit a diverse range of foraging strategies, including both predation and scavenging. They are omnivorous, feeding on a variety of food sources, such as insects, arthropods, nectar, seeds, and honeydew produced by sap-sucking insects. The foraging patterns of big-headed ants have been extensively studied, revealing intricate mechanisms of recruitment, trail maintenance, and resource allocation. Big-headed ants construct elaborate nests, which can be located underground, in soil, leaf litter, rotting wood, or inside plant cavities. Some species also build carton nests, composed of a mixture of soil, saliva, and plant fibers. The nests are often interconnected through a network of trails, facilitating efficient movement and communication within the colony. The social organization of big-headed ants is characterized by a high degree of task specialization, allowing them to effectively exploit resources and adapt to various environments. Impact on ecosystems and human activities Big-headed ants can have significant ecological impacts in the areas where they are introduced. Certain species are known as invasive ants, displacing native ant species and disrupting ecosystem dynamics. Invasive big-headed ants can outcompete other ants for resources, prey on small invertebrates, and disrupt mutualistic interactions. These ants can also have negative effects on human activities. They are known to infest buildings and structures, causing damage to electrical wiring, invading stored food, and even biting humans. In agricultural settings, big-headed ants can damage crops and facilitate the spread of honeydew-producing pests. Management and Control 
Managing and controlling big-headed ants can be challenging due to their complex social organization and large colony sizes. Integrated Pest Management IPM, strategies are commonly employed, combining cultural, biological, and chemical control methods. Prevention measures, such as restricting the movement of infested materials, and employing good sanitation practices can help reduce the risk of infestation. Biological control options include introducing natural enemies, such as parasitic flies and wasps, that target big-headed ant colonies. Ant baits containing slow-acting insecticides are often used as a chemical control method. These baits are designed to be carried back to the colony and fed to the ants, gradually reducing their numbers. Care must be taken to select appropriate control measures that minimize harm to non-target organisms and the environment. Conclusion Big-headed ants, belonging to the genus Fidoli, is an intriguing group of ants known for their distinctive large heads and complex social organization. They play important ecological roles in their native habitats. But certain invasive species can have significant impacts on ecosystems and human activities. Understanding the taxonomy, morphology, behavior, ecology, and management strategies related to big-headed ants is essential for effective conservation and control efforts. By studying these fascinating insects, we gain insights into the complexities of social insects and their interactions with the environment. I hope so now you will understand big-headed ants. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.